my God. Boys, today, we caught the biggest fish I will ever see in my life. Enjoy the video. <laughs> But before we get into this video, I do need to drop a disclaimer. This video is not for everybody. It is a educational video and stuff that you will never ever see on TV. Wicked tuna and how every tuna fisherman um, that produces the sushi um, and all the tuna that you eat, all the tuna you buy from the market actually get the tuna to the buyer and how we get the most dollar per pound for our fish. I'll take you through the whole process of swimming the fish, bleeding the fish, loading the fish up, taking it to the buyer, getting it graded. It's not for everybody, but it's a super interesting and educational video. And I think it's I think it's awesome to see. I think everyone that eats sushi should see this. And if you don't like it, then we'll eat sushi. But enjoy the video. Boys, today we are in the wonderful Moorhead City, North Carolina. I got Jess from Camp Lejeune flying behind me. And boys. This is why we fish. We just caught the biggest fish that all of us have ever seen. I mean, oh my goodness. It doesn't even feel real. We caught a 112 and a half two years ago, and I think he's, I think he's bigger. I think he's much bigger. <laughs> but if you want to see the fight, that would be in the last video I just did. For this one, we're going to go through the whole process of how we take care of this fish and get it the best meat quality possible before the buyer gets it. But the first step in this process after you catch the fish, you have to swim the fish. You know, when you, after you work out, good to do like a cool down after you run a couple miles or whatever, gets all the lactic acid out of your system, works it out. So that's what we're doing right now. This fish is really big and really healthy. He's swimming super good, which is rare for a, a, a dart shot. Sometimes it, we haven't had good luck with him on the dart shots. This one's so big that it was just like a little clothes pin in the side for his size. So the other thing that this is doing is cooling down the core. It is insane how hot the center of these fish get when they fight. They will literally cook themselves alive. And no, I'm not joking. That's not an exaggeration. They will literally kill themselves because they cook themselves inside out. The closer to the spine, the hotter it is. It's pretty impressive. So this is huge for this fish not to get burned. This water is 60 degrees. It's a little chilly today. So that's doing a very, very good job of cooling this fish down while we're kicking the lactic acid out of his system. Big healthy fish, big mean heavy fish. So after we're probably gonna swim this fish for a little over an hour. This is a big giant fish. We did fight him for quite a long time by our standards, about an hour. <laughs> after we swim this fish, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bleed him. We're gonna cut him directly on the side of his lateral line. Right here on the inside of the gill. With a five inch sword utility knife. We're gonna try to do both sides. I don't know if we're gonna be able to roll this big boy over. We're gonna bleed him. And then about every five or 10 minutes or so, we're gonna go back in behind where we cut him and recut him to clear the blood clot to get the most blood out of him as possible. Also, it's good. I feel good about this fish because, you know, he's swimming right now. And obviously you get more blood out of the system if you have a pump. So if his heart's still moving, or it's gonna be a lot more blood coming out of his system, which is good. It's hard to get a really good bleed on a dead fish, but a live one, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. That's probably the froggiest fish we ever had on the boat. That was a me, yeah. This is like the meanest, world out fish ever i mean really the biggest issue was we just couldn't we just couldn't lift him he's so damn heavy like if you have been watching for a while the last biggest fish that we've ever caught the 112 he made our lives so easy look at that black back okay. neutral 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 he's gonna keep Get swinging ready to, uh, put it back in reverse okay okay come on uh, oh uh, Go, 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 go. Is it in there? Yeah. Get a gap. Get a gap, gap, gap. We had the swivel in the rod. One time he came right at the boat. We had a nice and easy reverse. <laughs> dart shot on the exact top of the head. Ow. <laughs> dart shot on the top of the head. And uh, the fish didn't even move after that. This fish, you got, you, you got it. I'll throw in a little clip from the last video, but this fish, I mean, gave us a run for his money. This fish freaked the F out whenever we got him next to the boat. I cannot believe that he didn't rip the gap out of my hand or break a, break a line or break the uh, line to the swim gap. It's, yeah, it was very sketchy. But we're gonna settle in here. Probably gonna be here for like 45 minutes an hour. I'll pick y'all back up whenever we do something worth filming. Hold on, before we go any further, I have to thank today's sponsor. As most of you know, I spend the majority of my time in South Louisiana, where every single food item is fried and it is unbelievably difficult to eat healthy. But that all changed for me when I teamed up 
with Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietary approved meals right to your doorstep. And all their food is really, really good. If you've seen the channel before, you've seen me eat it. They have all kinds of options. They have fresh juice. I drink their smoothies all the time if I'm on the go in the morning. They also have wellness shots that are actually not disgusting and they're really, really good for you. That's hard to do is find a, a wellness shot that's not gross. And like I said, they have over 35 meals a week of all kinds of diets, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie that are all dietitian approved. And also there's 55 different add-ons weekly that you can add to your meals. Factor has been a serious game changer. I do not want to cook when I get home. Factor makes it so easy. It's two minutes in the microwave and then you're eating really good food. A little bit of keto friendly Tuscan chicken. I mean, it's just really good food. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. It has seriously been a life changer in terms of my health. So head to factor75.com or click the link below in the description and use the promo code JOEVT50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. That is correct. Head to factor75.com or click the link below. Use code JOEVT50 and get 50% off of your first Factor box. Thank you Factor for supplying me with the best fresh never frozen meals and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, we've been swimming this fish for about an hour. He's actually still pretty healthy. We are about to do the initial cuts, get him bleeding. Like I said, we're gonna go right underneath his gills, even with his pectoral fin right on his lateral line. Cut right there. We cut about every every five ten minutes or so. Clear the clots, and then I don't know. We're gonna try to get this fish in the boat after that. He's big. We're gonna cut him. All right. I'm more worried about season closing, maybe more. Of you want to help me out, somebody? Bleed him. I just need you to hold his uh, gill open for me. Don't freak out, fish. I'm in short utility now. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that the whole time. Yeah, he's big. He's big, buddy. Come on, get my leg in there. God damn it, Yeah. Whew, you don't like that. You're getting lightheaded now, buddy. Sorry about your luck. We can get it. Life's perfect for that. All right. About five minutes in. He's still bleeding good, but I'm just going to re-agitate it. If I can get his gill open. He's still swimming pretty good. Hey, come on. Come on. Corner them out. Helps, yeah, it helps. Just bleed a little bit. Got a lot of blood out. Yeah. Yeah, now. I have no good thing. We can get in it, but I can't decide if we're going to get back to the back. So close. I know you are. It's good. There you go. Got him. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's been he's been swimming good still. All right, got both sides. Feel good about that now. All right, he slowed down. Oh, maybe just cleared his flat for us. I think he cleared it a little bit. Yep. Oh, there you go. Didn't let one of your buddies got caught. We're good with him. Alive. Angry one. Easy. Clearing the clots for us, that's good. Making my job easy. It should be about it though. Oh yeah. Jesus, look at that size of that mouth. It's like a five gallon bucket. I'm still afraid he's gonna break the rope. <laughs> Those are some mean head shakes. It's unbelievable. We've been, we've been we, it, bleeding this fish for 20 minutes. He's still full speed. Of course, now they got the camera on him. There, that's insane. Oh my gosh! I'm afraid he's gonna break the line. At least he cleared the cloth for me, maybe. That's impressive. Tough, mean one. 
Good God. I think so. All right. We've always said that we maybe could fit a thousand pounder in this boat if we took off the door. I'm not saying it's a thousand pounder, but we are taking off the door. He's, yeah. He was swimming upside down. It was like, I don't think, <laughs> he's a wide fish. He's a big old wide fish. He's finally dead. Water's colder in here. And then we can lay that. Which I like, cooling him down. The last cut I did, I kind of reached inside of him. Um, in his cavity and it, it still felt warm but it wasn't like hot which is good so we're just gonna keep on swimming him. this is gonna be all kinds of interesting all right I'm not, he's not, he's not angled well. What? He's not angled. You gotta, I gotta move his mouth. All right, hit him. Take it out of gear. Take it out of gear, Remy. All right. Hold him. Look how easy that is, y'all. Jesus. You doing it by yourself. Get it, get, he's gonna turn up on the stomach. Wow! <laughs> Holy moly! Here, what do, you, what do you want me to do with that? Pull? Pull? That is nice. Whoa, look how far that is back there! Uh, we moved the damn door. Yeah. Can we move the bag this way further? We're squeezing, We're squeezing them. Oh, there you go. You gotta move all these other ropes. Come on, Randy. Holy moly. Huh? Can you get the back? I'm gonna reach them. I'm gonna turn on that. Come on, Randy. What? Holy moly. You bet you're there. times 10 is 120 holy 120 minus 4 116 oh my god oh my god johnny 116 buddy don't get your whole weight on Don't tell us to move and then get mad at us to move. Listen here, bitch. <laughs> I'm in too good of a mood for this. Wow, 116. Pulling into port side, look who's in town. Polo well, search vessel. That's pretty cool. Shark vessel. That's well, actually home based in Jacksonville. Back in tenor right there is a little chase boat. I'm actually going fishing for them. Pretty cool gig. Fishing for gray whites. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Man. Huh? Oh, here we go. Alright. That'd be cool if it was 120. Oh my god. Holy boss. One. 
Oh my god. 119. 119, Jonathan. Oh my god. This whoa. thing might be a grander. Oh, whoa. Oh. Here we go now. <laughs> I like your shirt. <laughs> Skeeter, please. You guys got a fish collar, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm shaking right now. Got a mosquito sleep. Oh my god. This thing might be a thousand. All right, poor thing they do is they put tags in the boat. This is like the most, this is the most heavily regulated fishery in the world. They, they can't take it off the boat until they put a tag in it. We're about to do that right now. Eight. Six, seven. Yeah. I swear to God. It's less. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You come home today and then. All right. She's legal. She's legal. All right. We're allowed to pull it out now. Nice. Good deal. We like, if, if it's possible, can we get a whole weight on the fish? The longest fish he's ever seen. What? Really? How long have you been doing this for? The last one I saw, there was this. It was 117. Oh my gosh. That was three years ago. Wow. Can we weigh him whole? Yeah, we'd love to get a whole weight if that's possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. I'll wonder my whole life if we don't get a whole if we don't get a whole weight. I'd really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you very, very much. I will. If we don't get a whole weight, I'll, it'll eat me out my entire life. That's a fucking rod. I was, yeah. Hands are all up. From thumbing it or from uh, oh yeah, from putting the leader into the reel and from the tiagra handle yeah from oh it's on the tiagra yeah Damn, right there hurts yeah it's like bubbled up i don't know it's weird well that's what you got and that's what he got so yeah i'd <laughs> rather be you yeah <laughs> i got the good end of that crazy it's gonna be a thousand. Yeah, yeah he's uh, 100, uh, 116 is is that is charted to be 1060. is he 11. what's that is he 1100 I don't know. Do you line class record? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not a line class record. I mean, what? 1496 is world record, right? Yeah. I don't even know how big. I think it was like a 140. Yeah, that was insane. Classic bl black and white picture. You got three cameras, Joe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy god. Oh, he's so heavy. Please don't break. Please don't break. That would be so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We lost five pounds of shad. Yeah, right. Wow. That thing is so big. Morning, Bill. How are we doing, sir? Good, man. <laughs> How are y'all doing? I'm yeah? doing real good, Bill. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Yeah. Damn, son. All right. We are going to get a whole weight, but he's kind of cutting the head out. All right. That's seven pounds with the shad. We're gonna get all the yeah, way. That's just way easier to do it now than when it's on the table. He is so big. I mean, look how wide he is. I could hide behind him. He's still trying to eat. He's still trying to get those kids. <laughs> He's so big. Yeah. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> What'd you do? You tagged him? Yeah. Woo -hoo! Well, you gotta be happy. Yeah. We're happy, Ramy James. We uh, real happy. That's it. Go pro Joe. Go Joe. Eight pounds. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I'm like shaking. <laughs> He's so big. Show me a G. Johnny! Nine pounds. Two thousand, three thousand. I've never been more impatient in my life. <laughs> I have to know. I'm like shaking right now. Show me four digits. Get up. Okay, you're good. Lowest. Taller than what I thought. That way's 848. 848. Wow. 848. 848. 848. Oh, man. Dang. <laughs> oh, not a grander. 845 because of three pounds of the strap. I got you. 845. I'll take it. 848. Nice. Big fish. Yeah, I thought it was going to be That's bigger. Big fish. I thought it was going to be bigger, too. Yeah, hey, we all, you know how men are. We That's always wild. give us a fish. <laughs> Not a grander, but a gigantic fish. Comically large fish. <laughs> That's pretty good. Timbers and iron. I'll take the sickle. <laughs> I want to keep it. <laughs> Put it there. Biggest damn sickle tar. Good lord. <laughs> oh wow. 850. Hey guys. <laughs> What they're doing now is removing the head. I went inside, the cub made a cut um, by the anus and uh, detached all of the innards to the end of its cavity. And what that'll do, once they get this head off, all the guts will just come right out nice and easy and quick. So I'm not going to show you guys them sawing it off because YouTube decided to flag my video last time for that. So you get to see it without a head the next time you see the fish. It is uncharacteristically hot, so they do have to wet down a sheet on top of them so the fish doesn't get wind burn or dried out. Just to make the fish look better every time. If it gets dry, it'll just look like crap. There you go. Oh, bah. Head is gone. Are you going to do ear bone samples? Yes, sir. Nice. That's a big heart. Yep. <laughs> My <a> God. Thick <laughs> skin. My God. Yeah. Appreciate that, George. Thank you. Makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Big heart down there. Yeah. You cut now. Hold back here. All right. It's moving around. It's like a sawzall with something vibrating. You can't. It's hard to cut. Yeah. 
Oh, you're doing a better job than I would. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Well, I mean, I'm just telling the truth. I didn't, I didn't give up on it. Usually everybody that stops here says, well, if I was doing it, let me tell you how I'd do it. Yeah. No, 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 you get, no. You think you have a better way. You think you're doing it until you yeah. get in here. I drove a race car for, uh, for many years, and they tell me I wasn't driving right. I tell me I was just too <laughs> slow. <laughs> I mean, you, they look in the mirror, and then you go to pass, and they move over, so you got to move them out of your way. <laughs> That's the sample you're getting? Yeah. Shoot, that stuff looks good other than it needs more fat, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> she don't have a whole lot of fat. Yeah, she's skinny. She's a runner. Yeah. She'll change in the morning. You'll see her better when it yeah. cools off. She's a spinner. Thank you for holding that. Yeah, it's skinny fish. A little bit of marbling right there, not much. All right, they're going to start touching this fish up. We're going to go over here real quick. He's trying to get the otoliths out. All right, you got it? Wow, I'm impressed. These big ones are hard hard on you guys, huh? They uh, you get a tough to handle. That's the main thing, just handle them. So right there, that is the brain right there, correct? Yeah. On top? Yeah. And the lower, those are the ear bones. The ear bones. And what they're doing right there is the ear bones are they have like rings on them. You can tell the age of the fish. And he's There he is, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Dang, it came out pretty. Very cool. That's what a fish's ear bone looks like. Huh. Very cool. That was a very good pull. Out of bought. Did they weigh that one whole? Yeah, yeah, it's 850. 850. My goodness. A dang half pound croaker I have on your bone that size. Yeah, that is crazy. Beautiful. All right. Sounds like me. So the O-Search guys, <laughs> O-Search guys are here to catch great whites and tag them. Uh, if you don't follow them on social media, they have a really good app and it shows you uh, where their tag sharks are and where they've been historically. So they're gonna take this head and hopefully they catch a giant great white with it in the next few days here. So we gave him shark bait. Hopefully they catch a big one. All right, getting all the cavity cleaned up. Very nice. It's crazy they're layered in here. Nice and pretty. I wonder what that tastes like. Hi, George. Now we get to do the core weight, and then we're going to quickly put it in their ice bath. You think this one's going to stay domestic or get flown out? Yeah, it's big. Yeah. I wonder how many servings of tuna are on this core. I think it's our biggest. I think the 400 kilometer was 636. 637. Yeah, he was long. He's got don't have a lot of tail on him. All right. Well, they're about to put him in that bat. This one is pretty big, so it's probably going to stay domestic. The smaller cores get flown to Japan because they're easier for individual sushi restaurants to buy them. Um, we actually get a better price for those little ones too. So this one's going to stay domestic. I'm. <laughs> I wonder how many servings of tuna in restaurants that's going to supply. There's a whole bunch of seared tuna appetizers right there. Also, no core, they're not doing core samples on the table this year. They're waiting for the fish to cool down. They'll do a core sample in the morning before I fly out. They can get a better breed, I guess, on it. It looks better.
<laughs> a little more ice. <laughs> That's a big one, Bill. Damn, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It was definitely worth it for today. Yeah. Made it worth it, huh? Yeah, well, we were, we were the chosen ones today. <laughs> nothing, nothing, uh, we did. We were just chosen. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. We got a measurement on this tail really quick, and we're going to take it to the house. How about that? I lied. It's been about 15, 20 minutes, and, uh, start you can start seeing it a little bit better it, the fish almost has no fat <laughs> which is why it was one pound heavier than our fish that we caught last year that was seven inches shorter or two years ago rather but i don't care that's a gigantic fish that's the biggest one i'll ever see for sure 119 hard to beat i won't ask for anything more than that ever <laughs> pretty wild you ready old man I'm you sure? I'm ready. I, I'm so ready. I don't drink. I might have a drink tonight. <laughs> well, if there was ever a day, yeah, if there's ever a day, today's the day. Today would be the day. Alrighty, gang. That's the culmination of two very, very hard fish days. And today was an example of being chosen. Only bite so far. Actually, there's one more bite today. The fish got pulled off. And that's the only two bites for the entire fleet. We are truly chosen today. And I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're lucky. I'll take being lucky pretty much every single time. <laughs> but guys, I don't know what to say. It was insane. I'm so happy I get to share this with you guys. Pretty big lifetime moment for me and John and Ramey. It's just unreal. This place is crazy. Bluefins are crazy. I feel like I've been rambling on forever. All right, well, we're gonna fish again in the next couple of days. So probably, hopefully have some more content coming up. I'm pretty satisfied with this trip with that fish, but hopefully there's more bluefin content coming up. Subscribe if you like the video. Love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Holy oh, shit, he's big. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. Oh, he's so heavy. Please don't break. Please don't break. That would be so bad. Yeah.